After we've been getting a bunch of great new Mini Racer 3 packs featuring characters we never thought we'd get before for the past few months, I've got to say, it's a little strange and out of place to see this 3 pack released. A pretty generic Mini Racer 3 pack including two Demolition Derby themed cars that we've gotten like 10 times in other packs, alongside a new release of High Impact who, don't get me wrong, is really nice to get as a Mini. Personally, I feel like High Impact is a pretty underrated Demolition Derby car, and personally, to me, she's a car that I honestly always forget that I own, so, you know, it's nice to be able to put a bit more spotlight on her by giving her a mini racer. It's just that, you know, when you have so many other great new mini packs out at this time, this one definitely falls a bit short, especially because of the other two cars in the pack. I've been praising, like I said, the new minis for their great new releases, review after review, and a lot of the packs having sort of lame other releases in them, I feel has been pretty justified for most of the packs, like the tractor tipping pack, which included a tractor, lightning, and mater. Lightning and mater make perfect sense in that pack. Are they the most exciting releases? No, definitely not, but they make sense being there. Fishtail, he makes sense to be in this pack, but Fishtail, as well as APB, have been released in so many Mini Racer 3 packs and other multi-packs, I have so many duplicates of them now, and there are so many other Demolition Derby racers out there, even a bunch of other ones that they've made as minis. I really would have preferred almost anyone over Fishtail, with the exception of APB, who's been in probably even more multi-packs than him. It would have been nice to see Taco, who I actually don't have the mini for, or Fair Game, or Jimbo, or Blind Spot, any of the other characters that we've already gotten uh, minis for from the Demolition Derby instead of Fishtail. I think that's a little unfortunate. As for the McQueen here, once again, we have this dirty Cars 3 McQueen who didn't even appear in the movie. Lightning was not in this paint job when he was in the Demolition Derby. So yeah, I feel like this pack definitely could have had some other good releases, definitely to make it stand out a bit more alongside all these great new mini packs. But with all that out of the way, Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. We are now two and a half minutes in and I'm finally getting to my intro tagline catchphrase thing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new 2021 Thunder Hollow Mini Racer 3-pack. I believe it's just called the Thunder Hollow 3-pack or Demolition Derby 3-pack. Once again, this is on uh, international packaging for some reason, despite me having found this in the U.S. Uh, so I don't know what the series name is here, but I believe... You know, it's just Thunder Hollow or Demolition Derby. Of course, this pack includes Fishtail and Muddy Lightning McQueen, who, like I said, really would have preferred some other cars instead of them. And it also includes the new release of High Impact, who, like I already said once again, is very nice to see uh, get a mini release. So, taking these guys out of the package, we will very, very briefly take a look at Fishtail and Lightning. Uh, I'll start off with McQueen here. I don't know why they didn't just include Chester Whipplefilter in this pack. I don't know why we're still getting the muddy Lightning McQueen who never appeared in the movie. Uh, really would have been nice to get the mini Chester again. I can't really reuse him for any repaints, but he hasn't been out for quite a while, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, it would just be nice to see a different McQueen. A McQueen that actually appeared at the Demolition Derby in these packs. But I'm sure one of these days we'll probably get a muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, probably, considering how much Mattel is seemingly loving the 155 scale version of that this guy's just your typical cars 3 mcqueen but with dirt detailing on his sides not a bad looking mini just one that again never appeared uh we've got piston cup octane gain and rpm there as the secondary sponsors the rest are obstructed by the mud there definitely a bit of a light brown for mud you know i'd say it's more like i don't know i'd say it's more just dirt Pretty similar to Dirt Track McQueen, of course, although he doesn't have a matte paint job like the 155 scale Dirt Track McQueen does. Got Lightning McQueen signature up there, number 95, Rusty's logo back there. The medicated bumper arm and logo basically covered up by the mud there. You could just barely make out the 95. There is a look at the other side, and there is his base. There we go. Moving on to Fishtail. He's a really, really accurate miniaturized version of his 155 scale diecast, even including the exact same facial expression. And it's a shame that he's really just not interesting to me anymore after all the times I've seen his mini get released. But he still is a very good looking mini. Moving on to the side here, you can of course see that he is number 96 for Wild Bill's Racing Cones. 
like how the Demolition Derby cars have like local businesses as their sponsors. Um, we have the sort of X designs or plus sign designs uh, painted as white stripes over the wheels there. Number 96 on the roof, and this is actually the second time I'm doing this part of the review. The first time around, I noticed something really odd. The name Bill here is written on his roof, which I never noticed before. So I grabbed my normal fishtail, only to realize that Bill is written on him as well. Now, of course, he is sponsoring Wild Bill's Racing Cones, and Bill is the name of another car in the Demolition Derby. I don't think there was a mix-up, because this guy is very clearly Fishtail. He gets that nickname from um, the way he was damaged, of course. So I'm not really sure what they were going with by having the name Bill being written on his roof. Is his real name Bill? Because I'm sure, again, Fishtail is just a nickname. Um... Is Bill written on his roof just as another reference to Wild Bill's racing cones? Just an odd detail that I never noticed and I doubt we will ever get the answer to. It's just really, really weird. I'd assume, though, maybe Bill is his real name. I don't know at all. But the 96 there with the red stripes. I say it time and time again. I love the homemade feel that all of these Demolition Derby cars have. Got the Wild Bill's racing cones logo. Or not really logo, just written there once again. And there is his base, I like how the back wheels are accurately treaded and larger than the front ones. It's a really nice touch. And moving on to high impact, finally, here she is looking pretty happy, pretty similar to her 155 scale diecast, although uh, missing a few teeth, unlike the normal diecast, but I believe the missing teeth is more accurate, weird, than the 155 scale one is missing it. Got the grill there up front, of course, with the orange and green stripes. The green is definitely much darker here on the mini than on the normal release. See the sort of white design uh, all over the hood as well. Number 12 written up top. Number 12 on the side alongside some logos for Cosmonaut and Steve's Tool Barn alongside a uh, fake phone number, of course, with the 555 means you can't actually call it. Um... Or is it supposed to be Cosmonaut Steve's Tool Barn? Because I don't know why the word Cosmonaut's written over there. Um, very nice looking wheels with the orange and green. Even have some orange uh, underneath the green on this wheel here, which is just another nice touch. You can see that on the normal scale die cast as well. Moving on to the back, you can see, let's see, Steve's Tool Barn with that same fake phone number once again. No reference to the Cosmonaut thing. Um, then we have Steve's Tool Barn here. Except now the phone number is underneath the word barn. And yeah, once again, the word cosmonaut is once again not written on high impact. Um, so definitely odd. Don't know why the word cosmonaut is on high impact. And I don't know why the name Bill is on fishtail. Um, I really like the touch here of having the dent on the roof also be on the mini. That's just a really nice attention uh, to detail. And honestly, I wasn't sure if that was an error with my high impact or if that was on all of them. So... Yeah, definitely is something that's supposed to be there. Uh, and there is a look at the base. Anyway, guys, like I said, definitely not the most interesting mini pack. Probably the least interesting of this recent wave of them. Of the last few recent waves of them. But High Impact is still a very nice looking mini racer. I just really wish that these two were other cars. Even if there were ones I already have, it would have just been really nice to get some... Uh, more variety there. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye now. You know, it's funny that the new release in this pack is called High Impact because this pack has had the lowest impact on me. Thank you. I'll be here all night.